It's a fun song. Alright guys, no one's swearing. Like the What's up, Mom? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Lily? And then I and then I like get up and turn off the camera. Like, a second later I'm like, my face is for the ESD coding contest is one week away. Registration forms are available in the high school main office. Pick up one form to register your team of two or three and return your completed form to the main office no later than next Friday, January 26th. The coding contest will be held in the high school cafeteria in March with specific dates to be determined in February. Don't delay, sign up today. Now over to MGM with the news. <coughs> Several of the defendants who were indicted for their involvement in Trump's Inauguration Day protests are going to be freed without charge or prejudice. Of the 188 defendants indicted, 129 are going to have all cases and charges dropped against them. That paves the way for the remaining 59 to face felony or other criminal charges that could land them with rather severe prison sentences. Although some criticize the indictments as unjust or a curtailment of free speech, many claim that the prison sentences are warranted, as the protests the defendants led were on the border between demonstration and riot. Also, we'd like to take this time to say sorry to our viewers. We tried really hard, but we just didn't make the cut this year. It saddens all of us very deeply that we did not even receive a nomination for the President's Fake News Award. Perhaps next year, after the AM, we'll win the recognition it so strongly deserves. Thank you. On this day in 1809, poet and author Edgar Allan Poe was born. Off the top of your head, you might only know him as the guy who wrote that poem that goes, the bells, the bells, the bells, etc. Or you might know him as the guy who married his 13-year-old cousin. Either way, Poe had a sad life filled with the loss of loved ones that led him to write such tales as The Telltale Heart and The Black Cat. His work continues to influence horror and thriller novels today, and he was the master of the short story. Now back to the main desk with lunch. We will be serving Wednesday's menu today. Today for lunch we have chicken fries with a whole grain roll. The Mountaineers double cheeseburger. Garden burger. One whole grain roll. Italian hoagie. Peanut butter marshmallow sandwich with yogurt or string cheese. Taco salad. Roasted zucchini and carrots. Cold slaw. Seasoned corn. Red pepper strips with dip. Pineapple chunks. Fresh fruit or sushi. Now we're to join with the sports. <laughs> This is Ty Lopez. This is Ty Lopez. I love this guy. Yeah, I made this. It's not rendered though. This is so good. Even if it's not rendered, it's so good, but it's so bad. It's not rendered. This dude is like a millionaire. In sports resorts, boys and girls swimming defeated Manheim Central. Girls scored 125 to 33, and boys scored 113 to 40. Go Mary. Ephrata defeated Governor Mifflin 498 to 477 in rifle yesterday. 
These are the top shooters. Sawyer Bull, 100 and 1 center. First career 100, so congratulations. Samantha Hurst, 100. Joel Potts, 100. Joel Potts! Potts 99. And Ra Rada Rojas, 99. Attention seniors who are planning on participating in the NCAA athletics next year. Please pick up a signing day form in the athletic office if you would like to participate in our NCAA letter of the signing ceremony on Wednesday, February 7th. Girls lacrosse winter warm-ups are on Monday at 3.30 and Wednesdays at 5.30. Each session will last an hour and a half. If you are interested in learning more, register for the Schoology Club using the access code F4BH7-NKT2B. Today, bowling is home versus Mannheim Township. Boys basketball is away at Garden Spot, and girls basketball is home versus Garden Spot. Rifle is home versus Mannheim Township. Now back to the main desk. No. Vicky was the worst babysitter in the history of no. the show. It's a matter of perspective. No, it doesn't it's matter. A, it it just, is, just the parents. It is a hey. Have a Dinkelberg day. <laughs> I don't like him. Dinkelberg. Oh. He's such a nerd. <laughs> that <was> lawn. <laughs> <laughs> But Ethan did. Scott did the veto. Whoop! Seth Rogen. Oh, Let's go. Wait, wait, what was yeah, that? Vince Vaughn. Vince Vaughn. Ethan, I don't think that's how you saw Rhode Island. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Quality is never my forte. Vince Vaughn. Oh. They didn't rent enough. I'm mad that they didn't rent enough. Vince Vaughn, as in but a friend. The audio is the important part. <laughs> Bruce Rollins. Oh, do we turn off the camera now? Yeah. Whoa.